William Dudley Pelly was uh, a newspaper man and later a Hollywood scriptwriter. He had a near-death experience and when Adolf Hitler came to power in Germany, his revelation was that he would be the American Hitler. In the mid-1930s, Washington State was just a bubbling, fermenting <laughs> political pot. High unemployment, a lot of labor unrest, discontent just across the political spectrum. You also had global events. People here were uh, connected to and reading about the rise of uh, fascism in Europe. And some people uh, were appalled by these events. Other people were inspired by them. So, Pelly created this group called the Silver Legion. It was for white Christians, and it was essentially an American, homegrown, fascist group. If you look at the documentation that we have about who was a silver shirt, there were doctors, lawyers, heads of the Chamber of Commerce, school teachers. Washington State, he had 1,500 to 2,000 hardcore followers. He gave speeches around town that attracted maybe up to 1,000 people. So in 1936, William Dudley Pelley decided to run for president against Franklin D. Roosevelt. Washington was a state where it was very easy to get on the presidential ballot. And because this was the only state where he was able to get on the ballot, uh, he made this his campaign headquarters. Pelley's followers here wanted to do everything they could to promote the effort, and some of those followers built a log cabin church, a, a kind of temple, in Redmond. And it was called the Silver Lodge. In the special collections at the University of Washington, we have a silver shirt flag that flew over the lodge in Redmond, it stood for liberty. Other people could say it stood for liberation or it stood for the Silver Legion. And this became kind of the clubhouse for silver shirts locally. There was nothing like this built anywhere else in the country. There was local backlash and national backlash to the silver shirts. People were concerned about the kind of anti-Semitism that they were spreading around the country. This lasted really right up until Pearl Harbor. William Dudley Pelley was arrested and charged with sedition. Pelley ended up going to jail for quite some time. The former members of the Silver Shirts were involved in the founding of a number of far-right organizations that we know today, the John Birch Society, the Posse Comitatus. Richard Butler of Aryan Nations had been a Silver Shirt. There was a tangible legacy from people who were involved in that movement that continued uh, really to the present day. The family that built the Silver Lodge, they donated a big chunk of their farmland to the city of Redmond for a public park. And it's named after the, the man who was in charge of building the Silver Lodge, uh, Arthur Johnson.